In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the Sensa Empire Pro group set after one year of usage. My name is Enfield Rosario and I am a holistic nutritionist here in New York City. And about a year ago, in November, I built this bike, which is a specialized shift with drop bars, right? And you guys were surprised because I use the Sensa Empire Pro. Uh, group set on it and you're like oh why would you put a $300 group set on a $3,000 bike and the actual reason is because I'm poor but I found it interesting that there will be a 12 speed group set out there for only $300 and I decided to give it a try because it was lightweight and it had more gears than you know Shimano 105 so I was like you know this is cheap I'll try it because if it breaks it breaks and I can replace it with something better if it breaks but it's been a year and according to Strava, I rode my bike 1,344 miles in one year, which is not a lot compared to other people, but it is enough for me to tell you everything that's right and wrong about this roof set. So let's start with the brake lever here. So they are, they're still carbon fiber, right? And they hold up really well. So I've crashed my bikes a couple of times. As you can see, there's a lot of damage in this uh, left one here and you know being carbon fiber it might freak you out but as you can see it's a solid piece of carbon fiber and it's still really really solid i have pretty good grip because i lift weights so it is pretty pretty solid and it has not broken if it was really cheap it would break on me and you know people will freak out because breaking with a carbon fiber lever and breaking on you that would be a problem and soon I'll be doing maintenance on this bike and I am gonna replace both of them. Not because they're broken, because they work, they do what supposed to do, it's because they're damaged and I'm scared it's gonna snap on me because it's carbon fiber. And they both do whatever they're supposed to do. So about build quality and if they're gonna last, I give it a 10 out of 10. A bad thing about these brake levers is the rubber. The rubber is not very good quality. Everything else is great, but if you're holding your handlebars like this, and you're gonna shift and let's say you do that over and over right it starts turning so that is one thing that if sensor empire does uh, an update on this group set on the sensor empire pro they need better rubber because this is not good so let's get into the front derailleur as you can see i am not using it uh, because I like the one by setup because I climb a lot so one thing I learned about the Sensa Empire Pro is that you can use any front derailleur that you wish because most front derailleurs are gonna use uh, cable tension with laser electronics so you can use a Shimano front derailleur in this you can use a uh, regular Empire, Empire Pro, uh, SRAM, as long as it's like cable actuated, it's gonna work on this group set, which is very convenient because most people do, uh, prefer a specific front derailleur and they don't like the other ones. So you can use any of the mechanicals uh, that you want. So now let's move on to the rear derailleur. As you can see, it's still the same way I built it. I put the jockey wheels on there and it works great. Uh, the shifting is very quick very responsive as you guys know it was designed by tram x engineers so there's a couple of things that you can do with this group set you can run a SRAM 12 speed cassette uh, and it will work really well because this is basically a SRAM but cheaper uh, the only problem with that is that the SRAM cassette is more expensive than the whole Sensa Empire Pro group set so if you're okay spending $300 on a cassette uh, you can. Also, I learned that the Sensa Empire Pro cassette is really noisy because it's so lightweight that it makes noises when you shift and it makes a clunk sound, but it's still really fast. And then on the first review that I said that the upshift was slower than the downshift, I learned why. So to upshift, you need to go one click, two click, and then you'll go to an easier gear and then three clicks, you go to uh, even easier gear. So that takes like a half a second. So to go down to a harder gear, it's just one click, one click, and you're back down to a harder gear. The motion of going one, two, three, two gears up, it takes just more time than just going one. If your priority is to be on those higher gears all the time, maybe this group set or this rear derailleur is not the best for that. 
and I am sure if I kept the original jockey wheels and I didn't put these red ones here, the shifting would have been much better going up because I noticed that the jockey wheels, they, their teeth are sharper and they're longer than the aftermarket ones. This group set is great. Uh, it's great value for money, $250, 12 speeds, lighter than the older Ultegras. Now everything's electronic, so they're gonna be lighter, but mechanical Ultegras, this is definitely lighter than those. If you choose not to use the front derailleur, it's even lighter. I'll also link this group set down in the description if you guys want to check it out because it is very reliable and it's really good and I recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, notification bell because I'll be making more videos like this to inspire you to become the healthiest version of yourself using the power of nutrition. And if you want to learn something new, here are two videos on the screen that you can learn something new right now. I love every single one of you.